Hey Scorpio, welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. Scorpio, this is going to be your money and career tarot card reading for January 2022. We're going to tap into your energy to see what's coming up around you for this month. Before I do so, I will be looking at your Secret Language of Birthdays book, which is going to give us just details about your special day. Um, and at the end of the reading, I'm going to do a bonus reading on what makes you special. So if that's something you want to tap into, then you're more than welcome to. If not, then um, you can just go ahead and tap out at the, at the end of the reading. So that's going to be, um, like I said, a message on what makes you special and what are your superpowers. All right. I just felt like I needed to clarify that. Um, my <laughs> Every time Mercury goes into retrograde, I'm a Gemini, so it affects me so much, and I can't stand it. <laughs> but go ahead and bear with me, all right? So my communication skills may suck. Let's go ahead and tap into your birthday, Scorpio. Okay, so straight into your birthday. I really hope I haven't tapped into this um, date yet. Let me know your birthday down below. That way I can read from the book for you, okay? So for November 20th, your card your tarot card is the judgment all right so you may be very good at judging people that could be one of your superpowers you definitely subconsciously pick up on people's energy i do want to tell you that um your strengths are being active scrappy and idealistic your weaknesses are being volatile overzealous and obsessive okay so i feel like you do things at a grand scale or you tend to exaggerate things a little bit <laughs> so um i feel like you'd be a great actor for some of you you may have leo placements but um for those born on this day, um, you can be sarcastic, but also extremely funny. So I feel like maybe that's your type of energy or that may, your, that may be like your little, that may be your little knickknack or your little, um, what is it called? Like you make people laugh because you're sarcastic, but sometimes you're keeping it real, <laughs> but it's like people still think you're being sarcastic the way you say it. I feel like that's still like a superpower. You know what I'm saying? Whew. Get a handle on your energy and your tongue. That's literally your advice. And I, I totally feel like that's why the channeled message came through because it's some, it was something about talking, something about speech. Like it was something that was going to come up to me and now I see why. So the next one for you. Oh, I skipped way to Sagittarius. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back. November 15th. I feel like I've done this already. But this is why I'm writing them down, you guys. Okay, so... November 15th, people, you're very measured, you're just, and you're courageous, okay? The devil card is the ruler of your day. So this means that um, psychological training is important for you, okay? So if this is something you didn't know, now you know. Uh, reorient, reorient your aggressive impulses or fears. Try not to become threatened so easily, all right? Uh, be more self-assured. That's definitely some of your advice. November 15th, people can display a great patience. They recognize the importance of waiting for the right moment to act and rarely miscalculate. So it's almost like you're very precise with things and that is definitely one of your superpowers. All right, so pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move to November 13th, the day of the commentator. Your card is the death card. So you're very transformative. I feel like you go through a lot of changes. I feel like you kind of put yourself through a lot of changes and you maybe you're always evolving. And um, this can be definitely one of your strengths, but your strengths are being involved, knowledgeable and spiritual. Okay, if you're not spiritual at all, I feel like you will become more spiritual with the days to come. So your meditation is very funny and it, it caught my eye. It says birds fly, fish swim, humans dot dot dot. So, I don't know. That's very interesting. Uh, so, November 13th, 13th, people are nonetheless passionately convinced of their point of view. Though opposed to all forms of injustice, they themselves may express their opinions in a dogmatic or an authoritarian fashion. That's, well, that's unique for sure. So, let's go ahead and do November. This is November 13th. All right. So, that is all for the birthdays for today. Scorpio, let me know your birthday down below so I can tap into it. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Obviously, this is for all Scorpio signs. I have pulled out your oracle cards because I didn't want to make this reading too, too long. So I'm going to go ahead and start your tarot at 4.54. So let me write that down. 
Hi Scorpio, welcome to Soul Vibin. So let's go ahead and get into your money and career. Tarot card reading, we're going to go ahead and see what's coming up for you when it comes to money, business ventures, or anything um, related to finances. Let's see what you can expect this month when it comes to your money situations. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the chariot, discipline, and determination. I love that. I really do. I feel like you're going to be feeling a lot more rejuvenated. I feel like you've been gathering uh, your strength to move forward or move down a path. And I feel like it's almost like you've been clearing up your path to really decide on what it is that you want to do. You're also um, being very, I wanted to say, um, I don't know if it's very discerning or like it's like you know exactly what you want now, which is very, very good. Okay, so for this month, this is how you're going to be feeling. And I was going to say that like you're going definitely through a transition, a transformation this month when it comes to your money situation, your career situation. You're going to be feeling a lot better. Um, Seven of Feathers has come up here. So you're going to feel a lot more strategic or you're coming up with plans. You're going to be very intelligent. The plans and ideas that come to your mind, make sure you write them down because these are going to help push you and propel you forward into the next phase of your life. You are definitely entering a new phase. I feel like this phase is, um, I don't feel like you're out of your cocoon yet. I feel like you went into your cocoon. It's almost like it got a little bit dark for you. Like you didn't know which way to go or what to do. But you're coming into a phase where you're learning to work with this darkness and you're learning to um, project your light out outwards, which is a really weird um, way of uh, vision I'm getting. It's almost like the light is within you and it was always within you, but you didn't see it so you couldn't project, out, project that light out. So it's almost like you... It's almost like your lights were off or your inspiration was off. Like you weren't able to, you know, move ahead with your with your um, creative endeavors, passionate endeavors, or even maybe you were just in stuck in a situation at your job or your place where you just felt like uh, things were kind of uh, stagnant or something like that, or they weren't moving along the way you wanted them to. It's almost like you were just going along with the plans that were in front of you but you didn't really want to do it or something like that so <laughs> let's go ahead let's go ahead and tap into these really quick okay only because i want to see what's going on so the card you guys opposition imbalance a point of tension a power struggle so yeah this is me maybe something that you were going through like maybe it was it was a transition that you had to go through in your life to figure out what it is that you wanted to do and then you get transformation, karma, facing fears, legacies, house eight. This has to do with past lives as well, you guys. And then we get Leo, self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity. I love this energy for you because I feel like there's a lot of changes happening for you. So where once before, maybe you felt like it was a struggle to get up and to do things. It was a struggle to stay optimistic. And there was like a huge imbalance when it came to your creativity or your creative endeavors. I feel like that's going to be changing for you. Even your money situation, like there could have been something blocking um, you. And I feel like this could have could have came from uh, somewhere down the line because the, the chariot comes down the line and he takes charge of his life so i feel like this could have stemmed from like self-limiting beliefs like i don't even think this has anything to do with people around you it was more like an inner conflict that you were going through and so this is a huge transition for you and now you're learning to um step into the uncomfortable energy and channel what you can out of it right the leo is all about light all about your solar plexus chakra your confidence so maybe this um stemmed from a confidence issue or self-confidence distortion or something like that that um you probably weren't even seeing with the seven of feathers like maybe you didn't even know where this came from i feel like this had to do with some something that had to do with your solar plexus chakra being out of balance to be quite honest with you it's as simple as that so you can benefit from reiki from acupuncture you can benefit from meditating and from just visualizing the color yellow or working with yellow stones um, yellow crystals such as orange calcite honey calcite and even pyrite okay these are very beneficial for you especially when you go through a transition like this and especially this one pyrite because pyrite is good for channeling divine masculine energy and helping you take action on creative endeavors and stuff like that so i love that but um 
here with the, this card, let's see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I have a very important message for you when it comes to spirituality. It does have to do with your past lives. Um, there is something from your past lives that's going to be resurfacing or maybe are already did. Maybe this opposition, this transition you're going through is going to be clearing up a lot of your past life energies, a lot of things that you came here to clear up. And I know this has little to do with money and career, but it'll still affect you in that sector, in that sector, right? Because, um, ultimately the way you feel will will challenge you right it'll challenge you and either it'll propel you towards the light or towards the dark and by that i mean it's either going to put you in a place where you're going to feel good about where you're going and confident or you're going to feel like you can't do it and i feel like you're definitely headed towards the place where you can do it because you have leo here which which feels like you're going to be optimistic you're going to be very creative this month with your business ventures but with this past life present power many spiritual face faces of you this is going to be you um coming into this lifetime to clear up old baggage from old lifetimes all right so this can have to do with the transition that you are going through and even it does it doesn't have to be even your own timeline or your own past lives this can be even like i said ancestral ancestral not ancestral yeah ancestral trauma definitely but it's more like um i don't know i just feel like it's the self-distorted point of view that you see yourself in that's what's going to be changing okay you're going to start to feel a lot more um self-empowered and you're going to start planning for more creative things okay so you're going to start to get a lot of creative ideas so make sure you write those down okay um i do see that happening for you but there is a beautiful transformation happening for you when it comes to your money and your business i feel like for some of you you're going to be signing agreements because you did get this card of affection okay and this talks about contracts agreements some of you may be um helping someone you're being seen as a leader or you're being put in charge in some type of way with the chariot here some of you may work in law law enforcement law um anything that has to do with legalities or even like um a spiritual warrior or something like that uh, mm, i don't know where that's coming from hold on Wow, I just saw this. I don't know what, why, but it's almost like you were scared to step into like who you truly are at heart, which is really interesting because I didn't see that before. I feel like I feel like you didn't see it either. Like this could have just been you scared of failing or failing. Excuse me. Um, it's almost like you maybe thought you were not gonna succeed in something, but realistically you had the power all along within you i mean and it's like you're setting yourself free from from anything that's holding you back so i feel like this month is a really beautiful month to start new new creative um endeavors or even pick up on a on a old um side business that you maybe could have fell out of yeah But you, it, there is something in the works as far as paperwork. There's something that you're going to be, um, yeah, three of acorns. This is a three of pentacles. There's like a contract, an agreement, or some type of communication that's going to be happening with you and, and someone else um, where you're going to like maybe figure out what it is that you want to do. Um, this can be like opening a business. This can be starting a business. This can be even collaborating with other people, right, who have their own business and stuff like that. This is all about collaboration. So I feel like that's going to be very important for you. Um, maybe around the full moon in Cancer. Like there could be meetings, a lot of meetings you're going to be taking care of, or there may be an important meeting or something that you're going to be going to. Um, that's going to kind of um, remind you of something from your past. It's very, It's a very interesting type of energy I'm getting. 
So stay open and stay adaptable to the new energy coming your way because I do feel like there's going to be new doors that are going to be opening because the three of acorns is a very important card to come up in a money and career reading. It's it's definitely a card that talks about a doors opening for you and you meeting the right people who are going to help you open up those, those doors. For some of you, you're going to be negotiating like a position with a new company or even your the same company you're in or something like that is going to be um, a lot more stable. Maybe this can be a raise for some of you, but definitely some uh, profitable, profitable, profitable negotiations <laughs> that can be signed, sealed, delivered for you. And I really love this type of energy because I mean, it's a money and career reading. So for this to come up, um, you're definitely going to have to find what it is you want to do or find that type of balance because I feel like you're going to stay pretty busy and it's almost like things are going to come down out of nowhere and it's like oh my gosh like I have so much to do like what have I been doing like let me get on this like you know what I mean <laughs> it's like you're definitely going to um, feel a lot more confident about your money situation because things are going to be moving pretty quickly yeah moving and changing pretty quickly for you so definitely a lot of confidence coming your way so you can um Conquer the goals that you've been wanting to conquer. Um, definitely a level up this month in general. I really love that for you. So um, that is all I have for the money and career section. I'm going to go ahead and tap into your what makes you special and what is your superpower. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Um, I got 1620 on the clock. Let me just write that down real quick because I want to put the timestamps for you guys. 1620. All right, so Scorpio, what makes you special? Okay, let's tap into what makes Scorpio special and what is their superpower? What makes Scorpio special and what is their superpower? Wow, the river. Do I want one more? I kind of do and I kind of don't. I do. Ooh, ooh, you guys have got this card before. I swear. I swear you guys have got this card before. The Shaman. That's very interesting because I'm, I'm telling you, like, there's a whole spiritual type of energy going on. Like, you may not even be aware of this if you're not spiritual. But if you're on a spiritual journey, you may already see this transition happening for you where you're clearing up a lot of old karma, a lot of past life situations. Um, you may even have a past life connection with a Leo you may have a past life connection, I mean, with a few people around you, but it's like there's a very important past life connection you have with somebody around you that maybe you have been avoiding a little bit, but you know that it's very important for you to work with this person. And I know this is a whole different vibe around here, it has nothing to do with um, money and career, but I just feel like it's very important that I say it. Whew. So the river. Let's go ahead and tap into this river energy. Let's see what makes you special. What is this about for Scorpio? Ooh, I don't know why I'm getting like almost anxious. This is very weird. <laughs> this is a very interesting song. Oh, sorry, you guys. Okay. So maybe like in the past, like you could have stopped doing something creative that was making you money or maybe wanted to quit your job or something like that. Or maybe you just um, don't like tapping into your emotions. Like you don't like to feel emotions for some of you. Because your emotions are so freaking deep and long. I'm getting so deep and so long that you don't like to, you don't like to feel. Like you rather just ignore a lot of um, emotions. And so this creates emotional baggage. But I do feel like your gift is actually acceptance and learning to accept things for how they are. So the more you tap into this light attribute of yours, the easier it's going to be for you to go with the flow. 
all right? Uh, with acceptance and grace, reflection and forgiveness coming from this card, I do feel like you are the type of person who almost um, judges yourself really harshly. And part of your destiny or your superpower this, this lifetime is to uh, realize how special you are and how to accept yourself fully for who you are and unapolog unapologetically, all right? Without um, saying sorry, it's almost like you have to do reflections um, in order to access your true depths. And this sounds really fucking poetic. You may be a fucking poet or something because I don't even know why I'm talking this way. It's almost like the, I'm channeling all this and to me, it's coming off as really... Um, effortlessly so i feel like as soon as you tap into your emotions and you reflect a little bit on um different emotional situations that may have triggered you you can like just navigate through life much easier and peacefully and calmly and just i don't know and then there's this song playing called handsome people I feel like some of this has to do with the way you view yourself in the mirror. Like for some of you, you may feel unattractive, but you're actually 100% so beautiful and so attractive, but it's almost like a lack of. And your superpower that you're learning to tap into um, is going to stem from clearing up your emotional baggage, okay? So as soon as you learn to do this, this, this new gift is going to come to you, a new spiritual gift. Um, I do feel like <laughs> there's only a certain amount of time that you can resist the river. It's like you're in this river, right? And you're going upstream instead of going with the flow and just letting the river take you. There's actually meditations for this where you envision yourself going down the river. And um, I feel like for the longest time you have been avoiding the river. You have been avoiding your emotions or you have been avoiding kind of facing the true depths of who you truly are at heart. And you haven't been doing maybe, um, for some of you, maybe you have been doing these reflections, right? I'm just speaking on what I'm, what I'm picking up on. But with the river, one of your, one of your, um, wow. So you have the capability of, you may have Aquarius in your chart. You have the ability to clear your energy by like going into a river, like literally. I mean, I, I do this in the shower, but for you guys, going to a river for some reason is like really special and sacred or can be. And this is a specific message, right? I know this, but I felt like I needed to say it because there is something about you cleansing in rivers. <laughs> which is very interesting. Like something about rivers and, and you know, rivers being um, very sacred to you or very beautiful. And this helps center you. This helps ground you. This helps rebalance you. And, and this is one of your superpowers, like going to a river. I don't, I don't know why it's coming to me that way, but it is. And realistically, the river, your true potential comes from you tapping into your emotions fully 100% unapolog unapologetically and un like without fear. Because I feel like there is fear behind you tapping into these emotions. But like, it's like for how long your ancestors are asking for how long will you avoid your emotions? Because there is no more time for you to avoid these emotions. You have to um, stop trying to get away with this and you have to learn how to um fully change your 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 emotional body mm -hmm. the shaman you you probably in the past life were a shaman or you come from an ancestry line of shamans um if you take a dna test you'll know because your dna will run down to probably like where shamans used to live or where shamans currently live now which most most shamans i mean there could be shamans anywhere i think but i know i've done some re research on this and shamans come from like peru that area but realistically like i said they can come from anywhere but if you do some um ancestry um dna or anything like that you'll realize that you actually have shaman blood and so this is why 
you're a very powerful healer. You may be very psychic. You may put people um, through situations. I don't even feel, I don't even know if you've tapped into this type of energy yet, to be honest with you. I mean, some of you most definitely probably have because you have a lot of um, spiritual cards on the table. But let's go ahead and see. Let me see what else comes up with this card. You're definitely a magician or you have strong, oh my gosh, you are you could be even a sorcerer. So um, you could have been a sorcerer in your past life. Um, I, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Um, but okay, with the magician and the sorcerer, the medicine woman, um, I do feel like you may be studying this or you may have, if you um, wanted to ever learn... Um, about shamanism um or even just being a like for some of you maybe you're doctors or you could be a doctor or you can study for this it doesn't have to be like the spiritual thing but i feel like for some of you you like you like the spirituality or the spiritual side of things um, you have these natural capabilities of becoming a shaman if you really truly wanted to uh with um fearless student and practitioner one of your one of your light attributes is definitely learning, okay? The way you learn, the way you pay attention is beyond immeasurable. I don't know why I'm picking up, picking it up like that, but it's like it's uncomparable to other people, the way you learn. Um, so you you are very intelligent, okay? Um, you also have the ability to heal yourself. Like, I feel like you always find a way to open up doorways for yourself through self-healing so the more self-healing you do you're gonna realize that more doors are gonna open for you down the down the line i like i keep picking up on this energy where i don't feel like you've done much healing like maybe you've just began on this journey and that's why you get these cards right where you're learning to manage or learning to go with the flow of what you're going through You probably have the ability to um, receive receive psychic visions, all right? Like you can tap into other dimensions as well or just even, not even dimensions, but, but you can even like just see, you know, yeah, like other dimensions. Like, like, I don't know, I've never done this, but I've done a lot of research on it, like shrooms. Like, you know when you do shrooms, like maybe you don't know, but... Like when you do shrooms and stuff like that, like you tap into other dimensions, right? And you tap into the snake goddess and she takes you through a life journey and she like she shows you your whole life. And I feel like for some of you, maybe you've been wanting to go on this spiritual journey of like visiting a shaman and going through a spiritual um, a spiritual center where you um, where you do like the frog poison or the the mushrooms or the ayahuasca um i feel like this can all be beneficial for your transition as well uh, definitely like you visiting a shaman but for some of you guys maybe like down the line down your like when you're older maybe you'll end up doing this you'll end up being a doctor maybe you'll end up inventing something that helps cure like a disease or something like that i, I do see you I see some of you guys doing this. Like, you guys have this capability of inventing something that's going to be very helpful for humanity. Because I kept getting something about you guys helping humanity as a whole or learning to be more, like, humanitarians. Um, that's something that came up prominently when I was um, picking up these cards. When when I was off camera. Something about humanitarian came up. Like, you're... You may be very compassionate or you're learning to be more compassionate with other people or to help other people. That can also be something you're doing this month, like being very helpful towards others and stuff like that. But as Scorpio, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I will catch you guys at your other signs or your other readings. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope that maybe I brought some clarity to you. Um, I will be doing like, I feel like I could have tapped in more into these 
but for now I, that's all i can channel i can't channel anymore i think i need a break <laughs> thank you so much you guys i'll catch you guys next time bye